Another quick video for my legal view arising from a question in the comments about when you run out of a slip road when joining a motorway. Some people have said that you continue on to use the hard shoulder, other people have said that you come to a stop on the slip road. Now both of these will actually amount to an offence and you are kind of stuck either way because you should be uh, managing your driving to a degree that you can join the motorway without having to come to a stop or without having to go on to the hard shoulder. Now the rules and the law requires that you must not stop on the hard shoulder unless it's in an emergency and you must also not stop on the slip road. Also when we look at the motorways traffic England and Wales regulations of 1982 in section 9 it says no vehicle shall be driven or stop or remain at rest on any hard shoulder except in accordance with paragraphs 2 and 3 of regulation 7, which is obviously the emergency part. And regulation 7, which is the restriction on stopping, says where it is necessary for a vehicle which is being driven on the carriageway to be stopped while it is on a motorway, whether that be by reason of a breakdown, accident or to retrieve an object fallen on the motorway, the vehicle shall and as soon and in so far as is reasonably practicable be driven or moved off the carriageway onto and may stop and remain at rest on any hard shoulder which is contiguous to that carriageway. Regulation 5 also provides that subject to the following provisions of the regulations no vehicle shall be driven on any part of the motorway which is not a carriageway the carriageway being the three lanes of the motorway. Obviously the slip road is not part of the main carriageway and neither is the hard shoulder. So unless it's indicated that you can continue on the hard shoulder then you must not drive on or stop on the hard shoulder unless it's an emergency as per the regulations. So quite clearly the restriction for stopping on the hard shoulder is limited only to those things which are considered to be some kind of emergency or reason by way of these regulations to be on the hard shoulder. So strictly speaking if you end up driving onto the hard shoulder because you run out of slip road then either way you're going to amount to an offence whether you drive onto the hard shoulder or whether you stop on the slip road. Either way will amount to an offence and both should be avoided and you should be joining the motorway in a normal and safe way doing so. But of course at the same time you need to be giving way to those that are on the motorway and those that are on the motorway whilst they are obligated to move back to the left hand lane should be driving with reasonable consideration to other road users which would include those joining the motorway so it is all a bit difficult if you get to that point. So no, in fact, there is no clear indication that you can use the hard shoulder as a continuation of the slip road just because you run out of slip road. So I hope this helps to answer the question.